the, the people of Tunisia have been let down, but why have they been let down? I think it, part of it is right, and, 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 and I think if we focus mm. just on that, it would be a great exaggeration. What I agree with is that the Tunisians have been let down. The problem is the market is held ransom, first of all, by Europe with regards to the tourism sector because of a rise of a more mm. cautious Europe towards Tunisia, all these different travel advices against visiting well, Tunisia. Well, people don't want to go the there because like. they, they fear they might get shot. But there have been other, other shootings in other countries and uh, there, haven't, there hasn't been the same Well, Egypt uh, was response. hit when there were shootings there. But people are now still going to Sharm el-Sheikh. But yeah. what I'm saying is the second strand of the market being we held to ransom... Many, uh, is, is the IMF loan, is the crippling austerity that's being imposed uh, on Tunisia. The reason why I say it's not the whole problem, however, is because domestically, what I feel is going on with Tunisia is this romanticization of the revolution, this desire from everybody to say Tunisia was a great example of a successful transition, and the wool is finally coming off the eyes. It was never so. It had to be so because Tunisia is in a region where we've seen a military coup against a democratically elected president in Egypt. We've seen Libya and Syria fall into a civil war. It made no sense to apply the same scrutiny to Tunisia. Let's take example 2011. Nahda, which won the first, uh, first place in the elections, Maurizio's party, refused to mm -hmm. acknowledge refused to acknowledge the third largest party in the victory. Hamadi Ishbun al Jazeera at the time said, who became the Prime Minister for Nahda, we will not negotiate with this party. Immediately there was a rejection of the democratic will of the likes of Sidi Bouzid, of Gasrin, of these central areas.